today I'm going to show you how to make a moving GIF image of a Pokemon sprite. Pokemon sprite is just an example, you can use this to learn how to make a GIF image for anything. We're using Adobe Photoshop CS4. Now you get your sprite from the internet, just Google image search it, you'll be able to find plenty. I'm going to use Lugia here. First of all you want to get rid of the uh, background of the sprite. I'm just going to do this quickly and messily. You're going to obviously do it a lot more tidily when you do it, but this is just an example. I'm just going to use the paint bucket tool and the pencil tool to get rid of all that background. Make sure that um, you, you erase it rather than just painting over it. I'm just going quickly to get it done, but when you do it make sure that you erase the background instead of just making it white because otherwise anything you put behind it is obviously going to be uh, covered by the white that you've painted on alright so we're going to move that more into the center make it a bit more neat okay now we've got that you need to click on this little button here that's just marked there to make new slides now, uh, you're going to need to make a slide for each version of the picture, so each frame of the animation, you know, each time it moves, you're going to need a new slide. Now, because we made the Lugia picture before we made all of the new slides, we can move the Lugia picture in each of these slides to a different position, and it doesn't affect the other slides. Now, if you make an image after you've made all of the slides then you're going to have to make a different layer with the image on it in every slide if you want it to look different in every slide but because we made the Lugia before making all the frames we can just move it so I'm going to make it look as if it's bobbing up and down a little bit flying so I'm going to move it up gradually in each frame a little bit higher and then it's going to go back down in each frame and then go down lower than it was and then back up again to the starting position when you're making an animation you've got to remember that it's going to keep cycling on a repeat so you want the the last frame to make sense you can't just jump from being up high to being where he started you've got to make it work its way back so there we go that's click on play to get a preview and that's him bobbing up and down now uh, this is going to teach you uh, a little bit more about making the animations in Photoshop. If the animation bar isn't down there by the way in your Photoshop just check the description of the video to see how to get it there. But yes we're going to uh, make a shadow now where Lugia is flying and of course because we've made this after each of the slides we're going to have to make a new layer in each in each slide with the shadow on it and we're going to have to then put it in the position we want it in. so that you can see if you don't make the layers before the slides then you end up with a lot of layers it can get confusing so the best thing to do is to just make all of the layers you're going to be using first then make all of the slides and then arrange it all but this is just an example you know it's not that important so I'm going to go through now and uh, just keep duplicating the layer uh, moving it a little bit. Now what you've got to do here is on every slide you have to make which layers you want to be seen visible and the layers that you don't want to be seen not visible. And it only applies to the slide you have selected. So you've got to select a slide, change the visibility of the layers, select the next slide, you know, paste the layer in. Uh, change the visibility of the slides, just sort of go through and do that on each one. So this is why it's a lot better to make all of the layers before you make all of the slides. And now we're going to just add some quick little easy touches here. We're going to make it look like he's blinking. So again, you're going to need to make a new layer for each slide that you want something new to happen in and just use the paintbrush tool or, or the pencil tool whichever you prefer and you're just gonna go in and draw an eyelid closing over the eye 
and obviously it's just a GIF, it's not a masterpiece animation, so the, it, it's going to look a little bit jumpy while while it's playing, but you know, you've got to just accept that. So, draw in the eyelid, closing, and uh, remember, you've got to change the visibility of the layers here, so you only want one and uh here we are that's that's what it looks like when it's done bobbing up and down and closing his eye so enjoy you can apply this to any animation you want to make 